And it's also for some of my people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Congo with the flow. You already motherfucking know, no girl. And I'm back up with this bitch. Look, I never left or stuff. I said what I said. I hope you guys are good, great, grand, and all the things above. And I missed you guys. Like, I'm good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see from the title, I was like, this is my 30th episode, I want to do something I've never done. So I was like, I watch a lot of shits and gigs, I love them, I love their show, they're fucking funny as hell. I love how they do Am I the Asshole, so I was like, I'm gonna do Am I the Asshole. I'll be doing Am I the Asshole videos, it'll just be something I get from Reddit, people posting Am I the Asshole, or, you know, hoping to be told if they're assholes or not. And then, you know, I just, I'm a span to it, I give my opinion and I say, if they assholes. I'll not. So before we get started, subscribe. It will cost you nothing and you ain't gonna regret it. This is the title. Am I the asshole for telling my sister that she knew what she was getting into when she settled for my cast off ex? Let's read. If you had told me years ago that I would be in this situation, I would have laughed. But here we go. My boyfriend suggested that I get an outside perspective here. I, 26F in brackets, I don't know what the fuck 26 F is. 26 p.m. Fahrenheit, anyways, <laughs> was dating James. M26. It doesn't mean that they're 26. I assume. Anyways, I, 26 F, female, was dating James, M26, for most of college. And we had plans to get engaged after graduation. Two months before graduation, I caught him planning to cheat. The JMO. Hmm. Nothing physical seemed to have happened yet. But he and the, another girl were making plans for a weekend that he told me he was going for a quick visit home. Cheating is an instant deal breaker to me, so it was over. Instead of having a fight, I didn't say anything. You go, girl. You go, girl. I just waited till after he left for home. Texted him proof that I had caught him. And good thing you're single now. Have fun. Then blocked him on everything and went for a girls weekend with friends. As you should, as you should, girl. James lost his shit and spent a month trying to get into contact with me. Or guilt friends into helping him. The few messages that got through, I trashed without, I trashed without even reading them. After a while, I thought he had finally given up. But a year later, my sister, 24 female, I assume is what she's saying, announces she wants to bring her boyfriend home to meet the family we didn't realize she had a boyfriend but my parents had a barbecue had a barbecue and told her to bring him it was james <laughs> my parents were stunned but tried to pull it together i just left my sister called and tried to explain that they had met a po at a party on campus and it was no big deal since i broke up with him okay says okay says <laughs> let's talk about this says says now let's finish reading so we can get context about this before i just start like <laughs> getting triggered i told her i thought she could do better but she could make her own mistakes i just wouldn't be spending time around them as you should love as you should she got mad about it because our parents took my side i don't get along with my sister at the best of times so avoiding them wasn't hard as, uh, except for accepted holidays my parents caved and let them and let him come to thanksgiving and christmas since they seemed serious saw so paros James seemed way too invested in getting back on my good side when he was around and it apparently made my sister jealous because she started acting brattier than normal. The last weekend was a milestone birthday for my mom and I thought it would be a good chance to introduce them to my boyfriend Todd, 29M, which is probably 29 male, I'm assuming. Mom gave it the okay and Todd actually made a great impression on the family. James was there with my sister and he was pissed and left early. <laughs> Are we surprised? My sister called me later and yelled at me for, uh, for upsetting James. And trying to make him jealous to get his attention. I told her that she knew she was getting a cheat when she decided to date my sloppy seconds. And he was no longer my problem. Do you hear what the fuck just came out that sister's mouth? Anyways, since then, she's blown up social media, venting about it and refusing to see my parents for the holidays if Todd and I are there. Wow, wow. My parents think she's over the top and acting out, but she's on their case so much. They want me to try and smooth it over and apologize for calling him sloppy seconds. Think it wasn't appropriate. 
description let's get back to the start so basically she dated this guy turned out to be a cheating ass nigga she chose respect over anything big ups to you 26f so her sister knew that this was her ex but she was like you broke you broke up with him so it's fine i met i met him on campus at a party and if you broke up with him it's fine the logic is just very extraterrestrial first off let me say some girl you are not the asshole you ain't the as how as i knew from the beginning of that sentence uh, from the title itself your sister is the asshole and honestly goddamn immature and she needs to respect herself because bitch what do you mean ati you made my nigga your ex jealous by bringing your new man here no your nigga is a fucking idiot he is toxic as fuck getting jealous because of your sister's current and your daughter <laughs> so yes your sister is the asshole because one she knows this is your ex automatic automatic this person has been inside of your sister let me just make it as explicit as ever this person has been inside of your sister your sister has probably sucked that dick what the fuck are you doing going there there's so many people on this planet like why you go actually you broke up with him so it's okay if i beat you where is your mind like why is this nigga has been in your sister and now he's in you you're okay with that i don't know about this sharing is caring shit it's gross now that that's number one number two there's no who broke up with who whatever even if it's a friend niggas exes for homies family that is off limits off fucking limits no matter fucking what how the fuck are we supposed to chill now what are we gonna talk about it's just not making sense man the problem is between you and your sister because he's just an idiot to be very honest he is an idiot jmo named jenga because you came with your with a sister trying to be nice be on everybody's good graces and then you're getting jealous visibly jealous in front of the family had you leaving early because your ex has a new nigga is that normal behavior is this nigga on drugs him is clearly toxic and he can just like suck a dick but you the sister the sister is the asshole you are not the asshole your sister is and she needs to grow the fuck up and yes he is your fucking sloppy seconds what else is he he's your sloppy seconds because you definitely slopped him and he slopped you so i mean that is your sloppy seconds and your sister knows that you guys are together so like with all that and she ugh. so no you're not the asshole your sister's the asshole uh personally i personally would I would just avoid them as well yeah you actually have taken the best steps you didn't say you need to break up with him now and you know you are very mature about it you're just like i will stay away from them because i'm not comfortable and you know what you chose yourself because clearly your sister chose her <laughs> she did her she did what's best for her in her eyes so you're doing what's best for you big ups to you i do not believe you are an asshole your sister is the ass how and no offense, she's gonna learn the hard way. Because JMO, Badu still has a thing for you. And and, and then you know what's worse? She's blaming you. <sighs> Your sister's an eye as hell. And she's immature. And she doesn't love herself. She doesn't respect herself. Story over. So tell me in the comment section what you would do in that situation. Because what the fuck? Do you hear the words that the sister... And it's like I'm not done yet. <laughs> as the sister said, and I quote, Ati, my sister called me later and yelled yelled at me for upsetting jmo and trying to make him jealous to get his attention let me tell you something let me tell you something sis let me tell you something sis sis too you know the ass how if your sister actually was there trying to get him jealous it works and what does that mean that he likes you no he left you at your family's house and he left early he didn't even give a fuck that nigga is gonna try and fuck your sister we're catching no home jenga it's gonna be great it's gonna be amazing but sis too, as how you're gonna learn the hard way. And you're gonna look stupid. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Be careful out here. It's crazy as hell. Family, please. This sharing is caring my nose is disgusting behavior. That whole thing, there was no loyalty. It was selfish behavior. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll be doing Am I the Assholes often just to spice things up and uh give my opinions to dilemmas. If you guys would like, send me your dilemmas and I'll answer them for you. And don't worry, it'll be anonymous. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Go to at callybeauty.ke if you want to purchase some beautiful ass handbags. 
I love you guys. God bless you. And till next week.